My name is Ricardo Sandoval and I attend Harvard College. I am currently in my third year of attending Harvard College, getting ready to transfer, so that's exciting. Uh, I live here in Wilmington, California, and um, my major at the moment, well, my major that I chose is architecture, um, but I am also trying to double major once I transfer. I've been taking business courses, uh, so I'm trying to double major with architecture and business. I want to really have both because I think, uh, you know, I have this plan where I do want to become a freelance architect at some point, and I, I do think that the business side is going to come very much in handy, and there there are times where I think maybe I should just stick to business, um, and, uh, you know, I think that that would also be great if I decide not to take the architecture path because business is just great overall, and I think uh, it is really something that, that is necessary everywhere you go, um, and it's something that can benefit you always. Um, why did I decide to major in those? Well, really because uh, architecture is something I've always loved since I was a kid. And business, uh, it all started really with um, uh, finance. I remember I wanted to get into stocks because I just kept hearing places about uh, saving up money for retirement, saving up money for a house, and, and all these things. And I... I really thought about it. I don't know. Maybe it was subconsciously in there, and I thought, yeah, I just need to learn these things. And I remember uh, going to a library, picking up some books on how to uh, trade stocks, how to uh, what stocks to buy. And I decided to also take a finance class in Harvard College. And I thought, well, this was gonna help me uh, uh, more, and to know if I was, uh, how do I say? It? Um, I guess on the right track with all these assignments, like, okay, do I really understand this fundamental analysis of this? Uh, I can have someone grade my work uh, and ask someone, you know, live questions. Um, so, yeah, I think it all started really with finance and finance class. Um, uh, so that, that really piqued my interest and I wanted to get into business. Uh, my role in the virtual internship program, well, I think... Uh, that was that was a really great opportunity, and I really do want to thank everyone who uh, you know helped me get into it. Uh, I remember going into it, and I talked to uh, Brandon Church and Ruth and my professor, uh, and they were talking about how we had to help a company, you know, uh, with their how can I call it? With an ad, making an ad. And so I thought that was really exciting. Um, I had a partner and that was great. It took a lot of stress off because I did feel a little anxious at first. So I thought it was just going to be me working with a lot of people who are already, um, you know, pros at this. So having a partner was great. Um, we had to work on this ad. We had to, uh, you know, look pictures to put into the ad, slogans, uh, tell the people we're working for, which was a company called Mega Fit Nutrition, who are based here in the U.S., but sell in Yangon, Myanmar. Um, we had to tell them how they can fix up their website a bit and make it more, uh, you know, user-friendly. And we had to also look up, uh, you know, many things from Myanmar, like how, uh, you know, what are some of their customs, uh, what kind of pictures should we use that would catch your attention in the ad? Uh, other things like what is their market like? Um, so that was that was interesting. Just learning about a different uh, country was interesting because I also found out that there are many different laws that are different from ours here in the United States. Uh, their laws, and by that I mean their laws in international business uh, trade. Um, that was all really been very beneficial to learn. Um, so yeah, my role was really just providing help in making this ad and create a bigger audience for Megafit to, to get more customers involved. Um, I remember uh, I had to use Photoshop to make some of the photos uh, for the ad, so that was really cool. I had to alter some of that, so that was, that was fun. Um, what facts contributed to my decision to apply? Well, I was into business and I was just, uh, you know, really trying to take classes to to fill some of those uh, um 
kind of call it requirements to transfer in really because I, I do want a double major so I want to take some of the business classes that I need and I remember this opportunity just came up and my professor was saying how great it would be to get some hands-on experience and I thought it would so I applied for it and luckily thankfully I got it um was yeah, I got the job so I was good uh, I was pushing international business practice did I work on well that was creating the ad for um helping create the ad for mega fit and uh yeah it was a success so i think that was really great um some of the skills that were required to effectively perform i gotta say interpersonal communication just communication in general you know you gotta learn how to ask questions uh, um how to understand what's being asked of you what you need to do um if your partner's trying to relay something you gotta know what the what they are uh, suggesting or you got to decode what's going on and what you got to what you have to work on so that was really great uh a really great skill to have um to perform the job at hand my favorite part of the internship has got to be doing the powerpoints and presenting uh the final uh product of the ad and and how many inquiries we got uh, how many more people were interested in the product so I think it was uh, the PowerPoint presentations just because I, I really like that like presenting showing uh, these different types of analytics and what they can do better and uh, what we can do to really grow so that was great mm, and the knowledge and skills gained through this internship will you know greatly help me because uh, they're not just uh, uh, how can I say a one directional path skill now there is multifunctional you can use it in anything you need really and if I want to start my own business I can use it there if I want to become a freelance architect I can use uh, the skills to market my work there you know and I think it really also helps you analyze things more and not just uh, you know involving numbers more just like in life Really, you got to see, you know, what's going on and create a plan. And it's really, uh, I would say, plan-based. You got to make this uh, um, type of scheduling. And, and it's really, I think it's really great. It's not just some sporadic thing that you just do. You know, uh, it's really something that you got to make that's going to be efficient. And I, and I love that.